Hello kittens, Silver here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video of my two Kita the Akita plushies by Douglas Cuddle Toys. So as it turns out, there were some design changes that happened over the course of the years during this plushies manufacture run. He is still available as well, but um, I didn't think that it was very well known that there were different versions of Kita, so I thought I'd just kind of highlight some of the differences between the two. So my first Kita was the one here on the right. He's got his own personalized tag as well. And as it turns out, he was one of the earlier releases. He was made in the year 2013, as we can see on his tush tag, or his manufacture date is. So he was March of 2013, whereas this guy on the left was actually manufactured in 2020. So there we go, April 2020. And one thing I had just happened to notice moments ago was that their tails actually curl in opposite directions. This one curls to the right where this one goes to the left. So <laughs> that was kind of an unexpected little discovery. But um, they also differ in terms of the color of their coat. So hopefully you can kind of get a sense. The one on the right here has a little bit more brown in his, in his coat. This one has a little bit more of the cream color. And I would say in terms of softness, this one has the edge. His fur is definitely a little bit uh, silkier feeling, whereas this one has a little bit more of a kind of a bristly feel, but still soft. I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, you know, mischaracterize him or anything. Um, and one of the most obvious and immediate differences is the stature. The one on the left here clearly is bigger than the one on the right. Although some of that may be owing to the fact that uh, this plush isn't quite as firmly stuffed, so he doesn't stand uh, quite as upright as the one on the left. So he's definitely floppier, as you can see here. His legs kind of fold very readily, whereas this one really doesn't have a flop factor to him. He's mostly just a, a firm standing plush. His, his back legs do sort of fold over a little bit, and the legs can be manipulated, so they're not so stock straight, but um, overall definitely much more firmly stuffed. And there's a little bit of a difference in terms of the muzzle. This one has a slightly narrower muzzle. This one is a little bit broader, but some of that might just be some of the hand-sewn elements that go into these plush. There's always going to be some variation as far as that goes. And this one also has very straight upright ears. This one kind of has one little Slightly droopy ear, but I think that just gives him character. Both really handsome, beautiful plushies. Great representations of the Akita breed. Um, so if I had to recommend one over the other, um, it's it's hard to say. I really do. Uh, I do. I do like the earlier version just because of that softness and the floppiness. But you know, if you know how to sew, then you can always alter up uh, the uh, the later version of of Kita and you know just take out some of the stuffing and and make them a little bit squishier if, if you like. So I may end up doing that with this one. Um, but absolutely beautiful plush. You really can't go wrong. I do recommend Kita no matter you know which style or year release you end up getting. So I thought it was just sort of interesting that there were some uh, some changes over the years. And uh, I, thought, I thought it would be nice to just sort of highlight those in case people weren't aware. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that this was informative. And I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye, everybody.